Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Last episode we got started with our adventure, definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it already, but now, of course we have saved Professor E. Gad, he has his own little thing set up this way. We are going to go back to the, um, what is it called? Uh, I know, I know, <laughs> the elevator. I don't know why I'm forgetting the word for an elevator, but yeah, we are going back to the elevator because um, we have a couple more buttons that we can put on there and along with it, uh, some kind of like power thing that Professor Egad wants us to do with it, so I, I really don't know what's going on with that, but we'll find out together. What I need to do is just go over this way. More spiders all over the place. Hold on, boom, got him. Lots of dollar bills, that's pretty cool. And here we are. So I should be able to open this no problem, and indeed I can. Um, so if we go up here, as you can see, we should be able to put these new buttons in and whatever this is supposed to be. Oh, that worked. Whoa. Oh, hey, here we go. So it's like a little bit more of like a guide, I guess. Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Now then, as to what that device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. Very cool. <laughs> then it takes all that data and, and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? We would love to. So there's floor number one. Uh-oh, oh. Wow, okay. Sort of did it all by itself. And then floor five. So we're skipping a couple here. <laughs> Success. Now you're able to view the map of the new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the VB, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't forget, it, don't go forgetting about it, okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you reach new floors right for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. <laughs> One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. Open the VB with plus and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. So, we access the, the virtual boo right here. Uh, the EGAD hotline is right down this way. Contact EGAD using the virtual boo is our current objective. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAD, resident genius. Hi, and am I coming through loud and clear? You are, even though you're a little red. Fantastic, it appears that the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to contact me anytime you need to. If you feel you need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer you some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my inventions is fun, but we should go back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to take the elevator up to 5F now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is, oh blast, what was it? Eh, you've got a map, you'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Trying, try to come back alive. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we are going to 5F now. So if we uh, interact with this, and of course this is 1F, which we've been on. That's the main floor. Um, and then we have 5F right over here. So definitely we have not visited this floor whatsoever. So this will be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we haven't visited this floor. I don't know what floor we were on when you know Luigi, Mario, Peach. All got attacked by King Boo, but I guess we'll find out eventually. We're going up. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this game so much already. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're, are we just waiting for it to load? Oh, there it goes. Floor number five. Oh, it's raining outside. Is the coast clear? I think it is. Oh no, there's, there's more Luigi wanted posters. Well, I want all these posters to be taken down pronto. Oh no, oh we're getting a call. Hello. 
Hey, what's up? Ah, Luigi, I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. Oh no. The Poltergeist G00 of yours has a new feature that I like to call Suction Shot. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. Use Y to fire the rubber plunger and you can stick it on a onto flat and smooth surfaces. And if you use the Poltergeist G00 to suck up the rope and then press A, you can tug on objects and pull off a powerful slam to break them. You should start shooting at things at things right away. Practice makes perfect after all. Oh, and don't forget the to get my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> so, I press Y, you said? Whoa. Uh, okay, aha, okay, well, what if we angled it up sort of straight? And then, okay, that's probably how we get that one gem on the ground floor. Because it looks like it has a little rope to it, so maybe if we get things that we need to interact with. Very interesting. Um, anyways. We'll, we'll try everything out, we'll just keep going with everything. Um, oh yeah, that's right. No, that's not how I get past this. No. There's definitely something I have to suction though, right? I can only imagine. Oh, so even just objects like this, I can move out of the, whoa, okay. That's cool. We just showing some muscle in this game so far. Just throwing things around. That's great. I really don't know what we're doing with all of our money just yet. So like I can do this, but it's a little too heavy. What about, you know, maybe more simple objects like this? I can at least open it up. I mean, I probably could have walked up and interacted with the two. I wanna see the chair though. It doesn't look like the chair works. And what about even something else like the plant? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so most things are smashable. Very interesting. This wall looks a little weird, but I guess not. So what's going on over this way? First off, another poster that needs to be gone. Maybe. There it goes. I could go down the stairs. There's like a vending machine. Um, oh, some curtains. Oh, look at this. It looks like this, is this a window or a door? I think it's a window, it's all boarded up. I wonder if that will help. It will indeed, okay. Now, is that just a straight drop? Be careful, Luigi. Whoa, 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 hold on, no! That's a long drop. Let's go back in. Hold on, I'm not ready for this. I was not prepared to, to be doing some daring stunts right away. I need to uh, at least explore some of the other unconnected things if I can. So let's grab that. Did see a couple of dollars fall from the curtains, as they do. Um, and what about this stuff over this way? Oh, can I look through that crack in the wall? I can indeed. What's going on in this room? Oh no. Laundry has a mind of its own. I bet you that's how we open that laundry machine down in the basement too, so with the suction cup thing, the, the, the plumber. Or not the plumber, the plunger. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so it's spitting out some money. I'll have to keep that in mind. In the meantime, can I interact with this? It looks like I can hit it with the flashlight, that'll give me money. Once again, you're supposed to give a vending machine your money, but that's not how they work here in this hotel. And what are the chances of being able to pull this? Because it sort of looks like there's something behind it, but I guess not. Oh, I can, can I call somebody? Nobody's there. Oh no. Oh, and definitely the cushions here. There we go. Always get the check for money under the cushions. Falls out of people's pockets, I guess. Uh, can I get this? I guess I can't. It's very picky about this. Like sometimes grabbing the posters works fine, sometimes it doesn't, but this I definitely need to grab because this is not a real wall. What's going on in here? Whoa. What is this room? Huh, definitely some kind of power lines going through here. We're gonna have to be careful. Also be careful the spiders. Don't know if these guys are like poisonous or not. All right, well, so far so good. Oh, there's another crack in the wall. And this one, we can just sort of look outside. Oh, look at that. That gargoyle has a gem in it, in its mouth. That's a really nice view of the moonlight as well. I like it. So how am I, there we go. Uh, <laughs> spiders don't like it very much, but not my problem. How do I get past this box though? There we go. 
Fox was just sort of being picky about the whole situation. Okay, ready? Boom. Hey, can I just walk right into this money? No, I actually, it's weird that, no, come back, money. I can't just like walk into the cash. I need to actually suck it up like this. That's a little odd. Is that it though? Um, Looks like it to me. Huh. I don't know if there's any hidden booze in this game like there was in Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2. Uh, we'll have to keep looking. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> More haunted janitorial stuff. Oh, wait a minute. 4, 5, oh, 4, like, is, is that what? I forget what floor we were on. This was the floor. This is Luigi's room, right? No, it's definitely not Luigi's room. I'm pretty sure that he was around here, though. Maybe not. Oh, there's some money up here. Oh, as you can see on the, ah, spider, get rid of him. Oh, he just wanted to get clean. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab that those coins back there. Anything in the toilet? The rubber ducky, don't try to flush that, it'll clog the whole thing. Hmm. Oh, stop fooling around, Luigi. Go to my room and get my briefcase. I, I have to collect money, though. So this is not Luigi's room. If you get turned around, you can always check the map by uh, map using the VB, but hurry. Why, why is it such a matter of time? Wait, skip. What am I skipping? I don't know. Uh, where is the map? I do wanna get a good look at this. Does it tell me where my objective is? Oh, way over here. So I guess like, yeah, I could opt to not explore this stuff, but I would prefer to explore this stuff. I hope nobody minds, because <laughs> I'm doing it. I guess there's no way to get into this room from here. I feel like the vending machine really is blocking it. So you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll try this. We'll try this out. Oh no. Can I get past this? It just keep shimmying. Oh, be careful, it's probably going to be wet and slippery because of all the rain. Oh, spooky. And then can we go in through, I guess, this opening, but let's first take a look through the window. There are definitely a lot of ghosts fooling around in there. Let's put a stop to it. Ah! What was that? Oh my gosh. Lots of bats. <laughs> there we go. The plunger will save me. What is going on in here? Oh, I don't like this. This is very creepy. But where are we? Oh, there's a gem. Okay. Another gem. Ow. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, this whole place is filled with spiders. Why does this game have so many creepy spiders? I don't know. Okay, well, for right now, let's grab the cash. There has to be a way to get down there then. I can only imagine, right? Well, in the meantime, I can use the plunger to do that. Nice. What is in this treasure chest? Lots of money. Okay, well that's good. But I'm still a little confused about this one gem. There has to be a way to get to it. For right now, we'll go back down this way. And, oh, okay, I got most of them, but not all of them. There we go, now I've gotten all of them. No, I haven't. There's still one over this way. Oh, I thought this was a mirror. So does that mean that, no, okay. Maybe this is like a panel? Isn't that weird? I feel like there's like something here I should know. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay, well there's definitely something I can do here at some point, I feel like there's like a lot of subtle hints of things I can't figure out. Oh wait, no. That's not doing anything. All right, well. I don't think I can solve this one just yet. That's a shame. I, got, I guess I gotta go back. This is why Professor was getting all mad at me. I'm dilly-dallying too much. So lots of stuff I just could not quite solve there. Uh, just checking to see if any of these paintings. Yeah, they're not the kind of paintings I can hit with the dark light. But there is still more to see. Ah, oh, okay, there's a mouse. Couldn't quite get him, that's okay. So what's going on in here? More mice, of course, when you leave all this food out. That's only gonna happen. Oh no, I'm breaking everything. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> you can just cause so much destruction. Okay, well this isn't opening. What if I use the plunger? Aha, look at this. Okay, oh no. You guys are not getting me. If I have anything to say about it. No, look, look straight. There we go. Lots of cool jackets in here. Uh, I will take them, thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe some of them will drop something. So far not looking like it, nobody 
Nobody here keeps their, their money in their pockets, I guess. And that's gonna get us a load more coins, okay. Not too much more than that, though. Okay, well, it's, it's still good to grab. We're almost at 5,000 gold. I might as well grab all of these, just in case that does something. It doesn't, but I had the check. So that was worth exploring. Anything else around here? Get over with the drawers, it's just creepy hands. Oh boy. And we can go into this bathroom right over here. Oh man, this ma bathroom is a mess. Some of these are coins, I guess, yeah? Some of them are sort of rings to the shower curtain. Luigi, what's taking you so long? I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta explore. Get to my room and get my briefcase. I'm trying, I'm trying. You can't rush art. <laughs> if you can't find your way, use the VB map. All right then, so there's that done. Actually, can we get this, this uh, I cannot. Wow. Trying to get that little suitcase in the toilet for some, or the shower for some reason. I cannot. So we are going, is that a golden mouse? You bet it is, wow, that was a lot of money. Okay, well that was our first golden anything, I think, right? Maybe not, maybe not. Anyways, yep, we're over 5,000 coins now. That's cool. But with that figured out, is this the room we need to get to? I think we're coming up on. Not quite, there's actually a whole row of them. I'm going to explore all of them, I really want to. What's going on with this? Whoa, um, yeah sure, launch it right back out there. Whoa, got some money out of it. Whoa, and this one has a gem. I would gladly grab that, so that's our first square gem. We know where the blue one is, I just couldn't quite grab it. Hey, can I look inside this room? Oh, this guy's making a big mess in this bathroom. Is he brushing his teeth? I guess so. I mean, even ghosts don't do that. Is that a toilet scrubber? Gross. I was gonna say everybody needs to take care of the pearly whites, but that's not hygienic at all. Ew. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go over there and, and get rid of him for everybody's sake. Because who knows whose toilet scrubber that is. Oh, can we get past this? We may or may not. It shows you that there's still a lot more abilities we need to get then, right? Or maybe not. Yeah, it's like a golf case bag. Don't know what they would be called. This guy, whoever this was, really liked mini golf though, which is pretty cool. Or no, just normal golf too. Ah. Uh, and I don't see too much else we can do in this room, so we might as well go in. Is he still here? Oh, maybe he's not. Oh, is he behind the curtains? No. Where'd he go? He's gone. Ah, he isn't in there. Maybe he's in the sink? Nope, got some extra health though, I don't need it. Okay, I guess I'm going. That's weird. Usually when the ghosts are like that, they'll at least show themselves at some point. Oh, oh, here he is! Oh no, oh, these are like some ghost maids. Okay then, okay, ready, boom! Got both of them. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Got it, got it. Awesome, that was really good. Okay, got them all in one go. Well, not all of them, but both of those guys that we grabbed, we got them in one go. So let's do the same deal over this way. Got you down to 17, and that's it. Very good progress. Catching those ghosts, no problem. So we have one more set of rooms to go before we go into uh, the room we're supposed to. That's fine with me. This isn't taking too long. Oh, it looks like this room is still under construction. Can I look through that? Oh no, okay, the bats are gonna fly through. Oh no, ow, ow, ow. Okay, that's just rude, that's just rude. What do I do, what do I do? I guess I do that. Huh. No, 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 stop, stop. I can't do this. Oh, there goes the golden bat. I'm such a mess right now. <laughs> All right, well, I missed out on a little bit of cash there, unfortunately. But hey, maybe I can find some other stuff. Like what is going to be inside of here? Nothing. All right. Oh, oh, this is one of those beds. Yeah, look at this, okay. So I don't know what this is really gonna do for me, but this is one of those beds that sort of reclines upwards, I guess to save space. So we can, oh, watch out. Bring that down and just get some extra cash for it. Wasn't too much. I wonder if I can, do anything with this bucket. I can break it, little mouse was in there. Sorry for destroying your home. Everybody's beating me up right now. 
So is there anything we can do with this bed? We can't even get on top of it. Okay, well, a couple more rags to pull down. If we can. That didn't have anything? I don't know about that. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got all these. Maybe this really will be a boo. Oh. It is just some money. Just some money. That's fine. Okay. So this will get us some extra cash. Can we look out the window? Nope. All right, so that means that we're good for this room, I think. Maybe we can take out the rug on the floor. I'll try that in a moment. This place is trashed. Did you do it, Mr. Spider? I hope not. I can take all these tiles. Huh. Oh, what's going on in here? Um, oh. Is there a ghost? What is that? I guess it's just random stuff on the floor. But as you can see over there, there's a purple gem. But once again, I'm not entirely sure how we get over there. Well, it's first for right now. Oh yeah, I just gotta get this out of the way. Gotcha. I don't know what this is about. Some kind of thing. Yeah, let's try this out. Whoa, okay. And that's gonna start this fan. Did you get a move on, Luigi? You need to get to my room and cover the briefcase. Oh my gosh, he's so impatient. You know, I'm trying to get gems. I don't know what their significance will be in this game, but I wanna get them. You know where my room is, right? Look closely at the VB map. Don't worry, we know. But in the meantime, we got the purple gem. Very cool. So, we'll go ahead and appease the impatient. Well, actually, let's open this first so we can get a bunch more gold. I mean, I'm pretty sure Luigi solely funds all of EGAD's projects, you know? He should be a little bit more grateful. Um, but, we will move out of there now and into whatever's next. So I think we did a great job exploring there. Found a lot of cool stuff, no matter how much EGAD rushed us. Oh, oh, what is this? Whoa, okay, lots more money. I'll gladly take that. Lots of nice secrets so far today. And what about inside of this trash can? Eh, some extra health, I don't need it for right now. Okay, so I think we're good to head into EGAD's room, which was 508. Oh no, it's another maid ghost. Looks like she's making things more dusty than she is clean. Oh, there's his briefcase. No, don't do it. We need that. Uh-oh, we've been caught, and so is she. Oh, you ate it? You're supposed to respect the customer's property. Oh, she can't leave with it, though. Oh, no, she can. <laughs> okay, well, I'll we'll have to chase her down. Maybe if we didn't take so long, we could have got here before she did. Whoops, is he hiding money under the mattress? That's not a very good idea to do. What if somebody like a maid comes in and finds it all? Not really a great investment strategy, if you ask me. So what, how do we get how do we get it out of there? I don't know, we'll find out in a second. For right now, let's open up this chest. Ooh, potions. What can I do with these? Um. Oh, okay, they just give me money. It's a money potion. Okay, maybe he doesn't need Luigi's funding. He can just craft a potion. Oh, we can go onto the balcony as well. Okay, so what's going on in the balcony? Um. I can give this a slam. Wow, Luigi really is strong. Just being able to slam things around like that, that's crazy. So what's going on over this way? He got a nice room, we didn't have a balcony. Oh, look at this, I can water the thing. Okay, so it looks like that's a thing in this game now. Um, just like in Luigi's Mansion 2. Oh, I'm getting a call. <laughs> He's mad, we've taken too long. Hey Luigi, sorry I was busy and just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status on my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do, no, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there, get after her. Goodbye. All right, all right, wait, 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 hold on, I need to get this money before it disappears. Darn. Um, I wonder if I can water this one as well. There we go. So definitely let's hit these with the flashlight. Nice, lots of money. And what about you? Just more money. Okay, nothing too crazy. Had the check though. So the last thing I wanna do here is look through the telescope. Mm 
this is very serene. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, come on, I was, I was honestly not expecting that. Okay, come on. Yeah, you better be scared, because now you're in trouble. Why is he so like, oh, I got, I got the watering can, whoops. Stop with the watering can. He looks like he's like made a crystal or something, it's weird. Come on, come on, slam him. This is what you get for spooking me. Whoa, he just broke into a million pieces. Cause he was a gem ghost, whoa, okay. And that is like our third square gem of the day. Now let's enjoy this for real. Ah, uh, I don't know what that noise was. It sounded like somebody knocked on the door. Okay, let's get out of here before something else spooks, on, spooks up on me. I don't know if there's anything else we can really do in this room. I mean, I say that. We haven't even checked this cupboard. Of course, he's hiding more cash in there. And what about this gem? That one immediately breaks. There has to be a way. You see how there's this big lump in his mattress? I'm pretty sure he's hiding more money in there, but I can't really get it. All right, well, whatever. Unless I can like blow air to push it back up. We can work on this. Oh wait, oh no. <laughs> that didn't work the way I was intending. He's got a bunch of books, which I guess he doesn't have anymore. And inside of here, there is more money, more tools. He really knows how to pack for a vacation. And what's inside of this room? Oh, we never checked. Cause she ran into the other way. Oh, there's a radio. Oh, some nice jams. Okay. Of course, only Professor Egad would have money toilet paper roll. He really does see it nothing more than an object. Money is no object for a scientist. No cost is too great to pay for science. No wonder he keeps his hair so well trimmed. Look at this thing, that was crazy. All right, well. I don't know if there's much I can do in here. Oh, there's a little lab coat over this way. Huh, very interesting. And then what about, yeah, this this one last cushion right there. Okay, that seems to be all I can do in this room. Oh, come on. There's more of them, of course. Whoa, and we're locked in here with them. Then let's get them quick. If not, we'll be in big trouble. Okay, ready? Uh, not entirely what I was intending. I wanted to get both, all three of them. Because we have not done that so far in this game. I want to get all three of them in one go. Nice, okay. Whoa, 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 I didn't even mean to do that. Where did she go? Okay, she's over here. Gotcha. Boom. Nice, okay, so that's all of them taken down. Yeah, do your happy dance. Okay, so that seems to be about it around here. We're gonna head out and try to go into the other room where wherever that one specific ghost might be with the with the briefcase, probably in 507. Aha, uh -huh, we got you. Okay, that's working, that's working. Oh, oh, but I can't. Hey, hey, stop that, rude. Okay, no, that didn't work. Oh, maybe I can use the suction cup on you. There we go. Or the plunger, you know what it is. Oh, that must hurt. Okay, do it again, do it again. Don't you dare come back here. Okay, so that's working now. Let's run over there real quick. Oh, I'm getting a call. Don't you see that I'm doing my job on these ghosts? By the way, Luigi, here's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to, to you get the idea. I'd say waiting 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work, so I guess the game won't save every door we pass if we pass doors very quickly. But if we stay here for 10 seconds, we pass through the door, it'll save at that point. Just like that. What are you doing? You are so creepy hiding back there. Okay, gotcha. And we're doing this again. So this plunger move is becoming very helpful. Let's try to get her again. Oh, I almost did. She was trying to run away too quick. So it looks like she's in the bathroom. Oh, hey, it's you again. <laughs> I found you, finally found you. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. This should finish you off. There it is. Another ghost captured. Good job, Luigi. So, 
I would like to grab that, and we will go back through this way. Hmm. So where could she be? Is she in here? Or no, this is gonna look into the bathroom, which we were just in. So I don't think we need to worry about that. But maybe over this way? There she is. Oh, she's waiting for me this time. She's trying to clean me up. Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. No! What is happening? Um, that was weird. Try that again. There we go. I don't know what was going on. Oh, did we get it? Okay, there it is. And see ya, maybe. Oh no, she's fighting right now. Gosh, that was that was scary. All right, well, good job, Luigi. So we are going to grab this suitcase, briefcase, whatever it is. And he just put the entire thing in his pocket. Ooh, look at this. Another floor to go to. <laughs> Luigi. I love it. <laughs> it seems that you've also acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come on back to the lab. It's weird how sometimes he'll do like a full call and sometimes he'll just talk to you. I never found out, as you can see on the map, there's a way to go to the left here maybe? Oh, is it to the left of the elevator? Did we ever go that way? No, we didn't, remember, remember. I couldn't get past this. Huh. I don't know why it's not on me. Yeah, do that. Sometimes it's a little picky, I suppose. But I can't quite do anything about that. Not for right now, at the least. Hopefully later we can figure that out. Um, for now, let's go back to Professor and see what he's gonna say. Oh, and we're gonna put the new button in. And of course, it does it all by itself. Floor number three. Because it looks like we've explored everything we can in floor five for right now. Uh, Luigi, it looks like you're able to get to 3F now. But before you head there, bring my briefcase back to the lab. I need it. Okay, so B1 should have the lab in it. So I'm guessing that also means that there is three basement levels? Or no, just two basement levels. And then I guess that means it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It goes to floor 15. So it really is like quite the skyscraper. Very intimidating, but we'll get to the top of it and we'll save everybody we can and capture all the ghosts. So yeah, let's see what's going on over this way. Uh, well, not this way. Yeah, that's that's the wrong direction. Hmm. Was oh, there anything new maybe I can interact with? I've already done this, but I might as well do it again just to make sure, because I can't remember. Yeah, no, we definitely did this. I don't know why I'm thinking we, maybe we didn't. <laughs> I would love to explore some more of this room. Actually, yeah, we'll do that soon. Um, but as you can see, I can also now destroy stuff like this. No problem, they had a bunch of toilet paper. You can never have too much. Boom. And that one had a bunch of newspapers for some reason. You could probably have too many newspapers. I'm not here to judge though, I'm here to play Luigi's Mansion. Uh, so I can't open this door like this. So that's still a bit of a mystery to me, but we'll figure that out eventually. Let's go ahead and just talk to the professor for right now. Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase, chop chop. He really is pretty impatient today. <laughs> it's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> this, this is what I wanted. The time has come to use it in battle. Okay. I'm too old to be, be out catching ghosts myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. What? What is this? The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor Egad. I give you Gooigi. Oh my gosh, it's Gooigi. <laughs> the development process was a real challenge to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. You mean us. <laughs> hmm, how is this going to help? Now, now, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm going to attach this to the Poltergust G00. Turn around for me, would ya? Okay. Huh, and there's the goo in the Poltergeist G00. Okay, it's all set up. Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. Uh, okay. 
You're a thing, Professor? Ah! What is this? For a second, I thought I was gonna like fall on Luigi. Oh! Ah! I wasn't kidding! Is everything okay then? What is going on? <laughs> I've caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh, don't worry. I'm just kidding. But I am going to need you to stay locked up. Why, you ask? Because I want you to use Gooigi to try to escape from your cell. You can activate Gooigi by the right analog stick. To recall him to his tank, press the right analog stick twice. Whoa, okay. Ta-da, behold. This is your very own personal assistant, Gooigi. Gooigi can slip through the tight spaces like great vents. His body is incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on, see for yourself. Whoa, so I'm just playing as Gooigi now. Whoa. There you go. He moves in basically the same way as you do, so controlling him shouldn't take much get, get getting used to. Oh, and that reminds me. Pressing R once Gooigi is active will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. Oh, this is cool. Wow, okay. So here's Gooigi, and he has all the same moves. He has the suction cup, he has the light. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he didn't like that very much. So what am I supposed to do? I guess get over this way. Oh no, we're melting! That's not good. <laughs> Gooigi isn't even remotely waterproof, Luigi. Oh, I didn't even see that. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. Okay. So, uh, no ocean resorts for this guy. That's for sure. Uh, but we could go around just like that. And did I touch it? I guess I touched it. Uh, weird. Hadn't intended to, of course. This is so bizarre, by the way. He made a goo clone of Luigi. And it's to prepare, per wait, what happened? Is that, oh, I didn't see. There is like a little pot overlap of water right there. So I guess I just have to keep my distance and use the suction to spin it. Gotcha. <laughs> we can't just make Luigi go on his own, own adventure while uh, Luigi just stays there in the cell. So let's pull this all the way up and then Luigi's gotta move before it falls back down. Oh man. Very cool. <laughs> well done, Luigi. I feel like I can let you run loose with Luigi. All right, you were done with your training, at least for now. Let's get back to the lab. Wow, that's weird. Nice work, Luigi, very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. I've been running the sensors in the lab and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know you really wanna find the, all of your missing friends, but if you wanna break from that, you can head over to the tower. Oh, is this the scare scraper, the screen park? Uh, it's probably crawling with ghosts you can catch. Go on and test your skills there for science. I've made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab. Just select scare scraper and multiplayer. Have fun. Oh, wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out the screen park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and wanna have some fun. Up to eight people can play and compete with one another. Fun. <laughs> All right, you can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take it to 3F. All right, so one thing that's interesting about that then, as he said, is that you can do scare scraper, uh, work together to reach the top of the tower. You can play using local or online play. So I'll definitely be doing that at some point. And then also screen park, play mini games with up to eight people on a single console. So I don't think you could do this uh, with online then. Okay, that's sort of a shame. Anyways, uh, we'll head out for now. I think we'll explore the hotel a little bit more. Oh, at least actually, I just wanna head out of here so the game can save. And then we finish up for today's episode. I had a ton of fun, and hopefully we'll be able to have more adventures with our buddy Guigi here. Uh, next episode, that'll be really cool. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Luigi's Mansion 3. Before you go, be sure to comment Guigi Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.